The Catholic liturgical calendar is a schedule of seasons, feasts, and celebrations observed by the Catholic Church throughout the year. It organizes the Church's worship and helps Catholics commemorate key events in the life of Jesus as well as the lives of the saints. If you'd like to add the Catholic liturgical calendar to your Google Calendar, then this is the video for you. This is Jackie with Plan a Healthy Life, and let's get started. All you need is Google Calendar, and step one is to open it. Step two is to subscribe to the Catholic liturgical calendar. I found a simple liturgical calendar put together by Raquel at the Little Rose Shop, which is a woman-owned business selling adorable Catholic handcrafted items. You can explore some of her items and download Catholic freebies on her website as well. So step two is to visit that website and subscribe to the calendar. In a separate browser window, type the address thelittlerosshop.com and I'll include a link in the description box below. Scroll down to about the middle of the page until you see the digital liturgical calendar. Click learn more. Now scroll past the image of the calendar where you can see icons for various types of calendars like Apple Calendar, Outlook, Yahoo, etc. Click on the icon for Google Calendar. An Add Calendar window will open in your Google Calendar. Just click the Add button. Open the sidebar in Google Calendar if it's not already open and scroll past My Calendars down to Other Calendars. You should now see the liturgical calendar in your list of other calendars. What I love about this liturgical calendar is you can click on any of the feast days or celebrations and learn more information. So here I'm going to click on the Annunciation. You get some quick facts about it. If the Little Row Shop has coloring pages or free printables about that, you can click on that as well to get more information. Also, if you click on any of the Sundays on the calendar, you will find a link to the USCCB's Bible readings for that day. So you can get the text of the mass readings on that particular Sunday. An optional step four is to change the calendar color. Google will choose a random color when it imports the liturgical calendar. So in this instance, it's orange. You can easily change the color by tapping the three vertical dots to the right of the calendar name which will bring up the options menu. Then just tap on a color you prefer. So I'm choosing a shade of blue for this example. You can also add a custom color and here's how. To the right of the calendar name, click on the three dots again to bring up that options menu. And down at the bottom, which got cut off from my video, sorry about that, there is a plus button and that's allowing you to add a custom color. Where the hex code appears, you want to highlight that and delete it and then paste in a hex code. So I found online a hex code for a pretty metallic gold color and I'll leave that in the description box also. Just type in the code that you prefer and then click the save button. So now you can see the calendar has a pretty metallic gold, which is one of the colors for the season of Easter. And this view that I'm sharing right now is how the liturgical calendar appears if you're using the Google app and I'm showing you on my iPad. I also wanted to mention that if you want to learn more about the Catholic liturgical calendar, you can visit the Jeff Cavins podcast and I will link that in the description box. He has this podcast that explains on very simple terms what the Catholic liturgical calendar is and how important it is in the life of the church. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I share videos on planning and healthy living. This is Jackie with Plan Healthy Life. Thanks for watching.